Hi everyone, Danny here for DoTech and welcome back with a brand new video. In this video, I have another tweaks to share it with you guys. With that being said, let's get into it. Alright guys, so the first week that I'm going to be talking with you guys about it in today's video, which is going to be the switcher controls and what is that week is going to be providing you with. So once you want to go to your switcher, it's going to be providing you with that style of switcher. It looks like this. So it's going to be providing you with more of the toggles that you have in your control center and then most of the top section of your control center is going to be show up here. Also, you can switch in between all the pages that you have on your switcher just like so. So let me show you guys right now how you can set that under the settings. Okay, so when you go to the settings, as you guys can see, the first thing that you need to do to enable the tweak, and then after that, you have more than section. I'm not gonna be going through a lot of details because I don't want to waste your time, but I'm gonna be showing you guys the basic things. So the first thing that you find here is gonna be the section layout. So if you want to go to the section layout and just stop on it, it's gonna be showing you guys and giving you just an idea how you can set that. So you have three sections here. As you guys can see, this is the top and the middle and the bottom. So easily you can just enable and disable the every single thing that you have in your switcher. Simply just stop and hold and then you can drag it down, drag it up, and then you can just pick the action that you want on your switcher. The second thing here, which is going to be the advanced option. So if you go there, you're going to be find a lot of options. So you can go through, you can set the way you like after you've done it from everything. You need to just make sure to respring your device so your device will be take the effect. And this is how as easy it's going to be work on your iDevice. Really beautiful and nice week if you want to set it on your iDevice. Highly recommend you guys to give it a try. It's the switcher controls. And next, what I have for you guys, which is going to be the Scythia X. And what is that week is going to be providing you with? It's going to be providing you with the media control style, just like the one that we have on the iOS 11 on Alexa Queen. So you can set it right now on your jailbroken device. All right, so just press on it. And then as you guys can see, we are right now on the customization. So you can just go and you can go to the styles because it's going to be providing you with more than style. It's for styles. Pick the style that you want from here so you can custom the color of the layout as well. I'm going to be just showing you guys how is that going to be looks like. So I press on it. I go back here. And then the other thing, if you want to overlay a slider here the way you like, you can just go through. Let me just play one of the music that I have here. I'm going to be go right now back, lock my screen and go to my Luxa Queen. And as you guys can see right now, how it's gonna be beautiful if you want to have an access about every single music that you have in your iDevice, just like the way you have on your iOS 11. So even you can go forward, backward, pause, play, the way you like and this is how it's going to be the tweak is what is going to be providing you with i highly recommend you guys to give it a try it's a really nice set if you want to set it on your eye device blissethia x okay and the next that i have for you guys which is going to be the alternate controls 2 for the ios 10. so basically what is the tweak is going to be providing you with it's going to be providing you with customized some set of the icons on your eye device and i'm going to be showing you guys right now under the settings what i mean here Okay, so we go to the settings here and as you guys can see the first thing that you need to do to enable the tweak and then after that you have the section here which is going to be the select icon. Once you just press on it providing you with more than uh, option so you can uh, just go ahead and press on the option that you want and here the icon color so simply you can just switch from between all the colors icon here and then you can save that the background color same thing you can just pick the any color that you want from here and then you can set it on your eye device this is what is the tweak is going to be providing you with there you go guys nice and beautiful tweak to set it on your eye device alternate controls 2 for the ios 10. Okay guys, and then the next one that I have for you guys, which is going to be the quiet while playing for the iOS 10, which is going to be helps a lot of for you guys. It helps me a lot. So where that week is going to be providing you with is going to be disable or mute most the notifications once you listen for your music. So while you listen for your music, you don't need to hear any kind of thing. So that week is going to be for you. Once you download that week, that week is going to be mute every single notification, even alarm or anything like that. 
Once you download the tweak, the tweak has nothing to configure under the settings. It will be work right away once you set the tweak on your iDevice. There you go, guys. Quiet while playing iOS 10. And the next one that I have for you guys, which is going to be the CC Smooth 10. Is what is that tweak is going to be providing you with? It's going to be make your control center more smooth and nice looking on your iDevice. And what I mean here, I'm just showing you guys how is the control center is going to be looks like. So this is the way how is the control center is going to be looks like after you download the tweak. Nice looking, smooth, clear, nothing on around. And it's really beautiful in my opinion. I like it so much. Even when you open your control center, it's going to be providing you with that black screen in the back. And once you just turn it down, it's going to be pop up again. And it's going to be bring back again all the home screen icons for you. Okay, if we go right now under the settings, this is the CC Smooth TN and the first thing that you need to do if you want to uh, uh, enable the blur here, so you just enable that and the dark background if you want to enable that, disable that the way you like in verticals uh, layout, so if you want to uh, choose the vertical layout, that tweak is going to be providing you with that CC Sharp, so if you want to enable that, disable that, even if you're looking for the CC White uh, sharp looking you can just enable that disable that after you've done it from everything the only thing that you need to do to just hit respring so your device will be take the effect as i show you guys it's really beautiful and nice tweak to set it in your i device there you go guys cc smooth 10 for your ios 10. i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe for my channel for more videos and I see you guys in next video. Peace.